Alright, what I have so far is my from my amplifiers positive negative put a 5.3 in series from positive to this first one. Next, I got to put a 0.1 milli Henry inductor in parallel with the tweeter. Start this side. There's my capacitor. And the inductor is in the same line as the capacitor. Back to negative. And this here, this is a better inductor. This is a this is a point zero eight milli Henry inductor. It's a little bigger. Next, I need 15.92 microfarads. Well, they didn't have a 16 microfarad capacitor. So what I did was got two eights. Two eight microfarads. And I put them in parallel. There with all the rest of the positive line. I'll put them in parallel with the with each other. And out the positive. There is there is a disconnect through here. That's my tweeter crossover at 5,000 hertz. Um, okay, this, the negative. back there's uh, there's my one milli Henry inductor and that negative amplifier all right let's put the point thirteen milli Henry inductor in series with the woofer. Okay. So as I did, just take the positive from the amplifier. 
Put it on one side. There's work calling. And to positive to my woofer. There's my negative. Jumped over one because there is a, a separation between these two. There's no separation here, but there is one here. Then, of course, back to amplifier negative. <laughs> okay. Now, I cleaned, I cleaned it up a little bit. I took some, um, some jumpers out that I didn't need. And added some connectors and this is what I got now that's the left speakers the left woofer and no, nope. I'm sorry. Okay, now we got it right. So that's the left tweeter and mid-range speaker. And there's the right. From the amplifier. This is the tweeter. And this is the woofer. I don't think my my um camera's gonna focus way in. Alright, so I'll explain this. I have my crossover point at 5,000 hertz. On my tweeter, I have an 18, one, to three components that's an 18 decibel per octave slope so what that means is on my high pass here's my high pass filter the slopes gonna maybe start a little bit before 5,000 Hertz but at a half of 5,000 hertz, 2.5 thousand hertz, that's one octave. That's one octave. It's going to be down 18 decibels. Okay. Now on my woofer, It's only a six decibel slip because there's only one component for my woofer. Now, what that means is there's my low pass slope. That means one octave up from 5,000 hertz is 10,000 hertz. And at that octave, it's going to only be down six decibels. Okay, it's falling off. It's falling off slower. I want, since I'm going as low as 5,000 hertz on my tweeter, I want that to fall off pretty fast. Uh, 
low frequencies on a tweeter uh, is is not real good. So you, as low as 5,000 hertz, I want that to fall off pretty fast. I want that to be at that. I would probably want it to be down more, but we're going to try it. The low pass filter for my woofer we can stand to, to uh, leave some high frequencies in. It's not going to hurt the woofer. But I believe that these frequencies in here will play a lot nicer if we don't have s some of the high frequencies as well. And plus if we left this here then you'd have both speakers playing these frequencies you'll get a big gain not good for sound quality so this is how my breadboard is right here right channel left channel and that's what we're looking at Can't wait to try it.